After much speculation, Apple finally announced its Echo competitor at WWDC this week. What separates the HomePod from the competition, however, is its music-first focus. The $350 system is built around premium speakers designed to deliver Apple Music to the living room. Music has long been an important part of the company's DNA. In 2001, Apple did the unthinkable. It managed to get customers to pay for music again with the launch of iTunes. Later that same year, it launched the iPod. The device wasn't the first MP3 player by any stretch of the imagination, but it would soon become synonymous with the space. After years in the tech wilderness, those products would help return the company to its status as a top name. They had also paved the way for more category-defining products like the iPhone and iPad. In 2014, Apple bought the popular headphone maker Beats for $3 billion, an acquisition that would pave the way for Apple Music. Launching in 2015, Apple Music has grown its library to 40 million songs and now has 27 million paid subscribers compared to Spotify's 50 million. With HomePod, the company is hoping to do for music listening at home what it did for portability with the iPod. It will likely work with additional entertainment options through AirPlay, but Apple's subscription service is an essential part of the company's strategy. And if Apple gets Siri into more living rooms, hey, bonus! <laughs>